welcome guys to what is going to be another new series on my channel. Again, hopefully this will be a really long running series on the channel. Um, I've recently got my PC back, which means I can not only make videos longer than an hour, but I can play PC games as well, which means I can play mods and I can record this. So that being said, we're playing a game I've wanted to play for absolutely ages on the channel. It's Mountain Blade Warband, but we're using the and forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, the Geku Kujo mod, Daimyo Edition. It basically sets the game in feudal Japan, which I'm very excited for. I've done a few uh, test runs of this game, uh, use a few cheat codes, stuff like that, but uh, I'm going to play a proper, proper run here. Uh, I plan on basically starting with next to nothing, probably join an army, and then I will rise up to be a samurai warrior, leading an army of samurai, and... Who knows, maybe I'll even start my own Samurai Kingdom and uh, take over all of feudal Japan. It's going to take a very long time, like I say, but I think we might be able to get it done. But as you can see, the uh, loading screens for this game very, very long, so I'm probably going to skip most of these. Okay, so finally loaded in. Uh, this screen says saying, you know, welcome adventurer. This is a semi-real sandbox, so basically if I'm a a male noble, everything's going to be nice and peachy, but if a player is someone less than noble or a female, things are going to be a little bit harder to uh, start the game off. And I'll be honest, second probably only to the Vikings edition, this game is a very difficult early start, so I think it's challenging enough that I'm probably going to go with a male character. I probably won't go straight for the noble, but... I will start with a prominent military family. I'm going to be a, have my father be a G Samurai. You're a child of a minor Samurai family with no claims, real or faked, of descent to the noble Minamoto or Tara clans. Nor any larger land holdings or great offices like the rank of Imperial Court. But they taught you how to fight with a sword almost before you learned how to walk. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... And here I'm going to go uh, Daimyo's attendant. Uh, Daimyo was basically like a clan leader in feudal Japan, for those who don't know. As a boy growing out of childhood, you were sent to live one of the castles of the land. There, your first lessons were in humility, as you wait upon the lords and ladies of the household. But from their shogi games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You even learnt from the rough games of the other children, who formed cliques, and fought amongst themselves under the noses of their elders. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became, and I'm going to go for an armed retainer in the provinces. So basically, I'm a samurai with armour, and I walk around and I kick ass. Though distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you became a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. Then you were taken under a daimyo's banner, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal with hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed on your obligations to your lord, and of the duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the Bushido ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories of powerful politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valour to achieve their aims. I'm just going to go for uh, personal revenge as my reason for uh, moving on. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave, with the rage burning brightly inside your heart. You wanted vengeance, you wanted justice, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get it, because I'm a righteous dude. Now we get to create our character, I'm just going to be Tom Fox, you guys know it is. I'm probably going to be a Gajin, as they'd call me, a foreigner. I uh, get my charisma up, a bit of agility. Um, in all my test plays of the game so far, I've never once got a horse, so definitely going to get my athletics up. But. Uh, I'm going for the same stuff I always go here, leadership, trade, prisoner management, inventory management, pathfinding, and I'll put an extra point into agility, um, athletic, sorry, just to get my run speed up a bit, and put all my weapon efficiency points into one-handed. As I said, just make the character, I'm not going to do anything too special here, I'm literally just going to go create a character real quick. Yeah, it looks close enough to me. I'm going to roll with that. You hear about Japan, a land torn between rival daimyo battling each other for supremacy. A haven for samurai and ronin, which is samurais without a master. Cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory. 
In this land which holds great dangers and even great opportunities, you believe that you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel finally that you hold the key to your destiny in your hands, free to choose your will and whatever course you take. Great adventures will await you. Drawn by stories and provinces, you. I'm probably going to take a ship to, I think it's Edo it's pronounced in the Kanto region. Uh, just because it's sort of centre of the mainland, so I can get everywhere, you know, it's neither here nor there. You've arrived in Edo in the, is it Musashi province? A minor castle town on the Kanto plain. You're exhausted by the time you find the inn in Edo, and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which is still deserted. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. And like that we are thrown into the warring world of feudal Japan. We're going to march out of this inn, we're going to take on whoever's trying to fight us. Got my katana here. Uh, let's watch to my uh, Watazashi I think it's pronounced. It's basically a shorter version. Hey you fucker. It slices a bit quicker. So quick that you can't even get a slash in. Put that away and we should be greeted with a merchant. Uh, are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for that Ronin. There's one less murderous maniac to trouble our streets. Although the gods know he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me out with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Do do do. Very dramatic. This is basically just a starter quest, just to get us started. Um, this guy probably has a problem with his brother, or he always does in Warband, but you know, we'll help him out maybe. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Well, that's a lie, because we have to walk up to him. He does not walk up to us again. I've got to cross the room to go to you, you lazy git. Let's see what he wants. Now, let me explain my proposition. I have tried to live a, my life ignoring the samurai, even in these turbulent times. I figured that if I keep my head down, none of their plots or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They... They killed my brother. I don't even know how you pronounce that name, is it Minamaru? He was a hothead for sure. Maybe he showed disrespect to a haughty lordling. I don't know what actually happened, but it doesn't matter to me whether he brought it upon himself or not. Nobody should be so exalted that they could kill a brother, son or father just because they weren't grovel to as they wished. That's no way for the rest of us to live. My other brother, Horinbo, tried to investigate the murder, but he's disappeared since. I originally feared the worst, but I've just come across a rumour that says he's still alive as a captive. So here's what I ask of you. Gather a small party, track down those who've taken him, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get Horinbo home safe. In return, you'll earn my eternal gratitude and a large sum of money. What do you say? Well, I gotta say, I weren't too interested I give two hoots, but uh, you did mention money, so I am interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on a samurai and his retainers single-handedly, you will surely lose your head. You must round up a group of volunteers and form a band. There's always a few boys in the villages around here, looking for work that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purse of 100 mon, which is the currency in the game. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go round up the villages, use the money to hire some help. I reckon you'll need at least five men to take on these scoundrels. Well, considering in my test play I got ambushed by like nine bandits before I could even recruit anyone and I was on my own, and I managed to kill all of them. I mean, it was clutch. I had like 16% health left, but I managed to get them. I killed them all. Very good, sir. I'll collect the men from around the villages. No, I won't. I'm absolutely lying out of my ass. Good, you can find me again in the inn here in Edo after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. Well, my good friend, you are going to be waiting for a very long time. I might come back and do this quest again one day, maybe. I might finish it up. But by that point, I'm probably going to have a very large army of loyal samurai. Way more than five. Uh, my plan is basically to ignore this quest, take his money. I'm not even going to go to the villages. I'm going to go to the inn here first, because I want to see if there's any companions I can get to join me, because um, 
companions will never leave. I'm, I always love me some companions. So uh, we got merchant, belligerent drunk. Um, let's get some combat experience in here. Why not? No companions though. What are you looking at? Um, ooh, do you have any idea who I am? Do I care? I'll wipe that smirk right off your face. Well, I'm about to kill you. Stab, slash, and block, slash. That was easy. Well, I'd say he started it. And that entitles you to his sword and purse, I suppose. Have a drink on the house, as I dare say you've saved a patron or two a broken skull. Still, I hope he still has a pulse. It's not good for an establishment to get a name as a place where men get where men are killed. Well, I'll be honest, situational better than him than me. Uh what that bastard started it, you know. I was defending myself. I mean he threw one strike, but uh better him than me, eh? But yeah, no companions here, so that's a shame. Um uh, anything let's just have a look, what have I got? Uh that one I took off him, but that I'll keep it in case I get a companion later. Um, yeah, my plan is to basically find the Great Lord Hojo, who rules over this clan, uh, who should be over here, and uh, hopefully join his army for a bit and use that to build up some experience, etc. Oh, stop here! Eight looters. I've got to be careful they don't try and ambush me. Just creep past them. Not a problem. Oh, nine looters. Just avoid those guys. Right, oh shit. I didn't stop in time. Kanto rebels. These guys are tough. I don't think I can take these. Uh, how much would it be to get away? 25 mon. I mean, in the long run, that's not a lot of money at all. I don't even think I can buy anything with 25 mon. Um... Uh, very well take it. I'm not going to get spent I should even be earning money, getting a wage. So uh, we'll avoid that early encounter. And we'll continue marching on. Uh, get back on the road. Bit of lag there. Just uh, other clans doing a bit of diplomacy. Always lags the game a bit. He's usually out in the field. So unless he's in the city, there's 12 of them. I want to avoid that. Is he in the city? Ooh, there's a tournament going on. Which makes me think he might be. Is there any companions in here? Just a traveller. Okay. Um, let's leave. Is he... Yeah, he's in the city. So, can I go into the castle? No, they're not going to let me in. Well, how about if I win this tournament? Will he then bestow the honour on me to uh, visit him? We'll find out, let's see if I can win this tournament. Okay then, as you can see, Great Lord Hojo. I can uh, dispatch him personally to earn his respect. I mean, can you imagine being in a tournament, being defeated by nobody, and then all of a sudden that... Join your army. Flat behind. I have no qualms about knocking out women. And uh, my team resoundingly win the first round. That was quite a nice victory. Uh, he's still in it. Two teams, three fighters each. So, uh, good start. We've already knocked him out straight away. My team are wrecking at the minute. Not a single one of us went down in that second round. Nicely done. Two teams with four fighters each. And he is still in the tournament. Swing. Oh, God, don't get... Oh god, they're ganging up on me. <laughs> Keep fighting. Okay. We got there. That was nice and easy. Okay. Oh, so we actually got eliminated in the last round. But this uh, next round is one on one. Come at me, bro. I will take you on. I am indestructible. I'll just back him against the wall. Going nowhere, mate. No one can beat me in a one-on-one -on -one duel. No bloody way. Next round, two on two. Oh god, miss. They're ganging up on me. Okay, now they're ganging up on my buddy. Oh god, now it's two on one. This is not good. Right, if your buddy just stays there, thank you. And now it's one on one. 
Try me, bro. You won't beat me. Sit the fuck down. That's how we do. And it's round. It's me versus a champion fighter. One on one. Whoever wins here wins the tournament. And of course, they gave me a bow. I don't want to use that. Luckily, they gave me a sword to use. Which is not the best, but I'll make it work. And very anticlimactic tournament there. You've won the tournament at Odawara. You are filled with pride. The crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you earn a prize of 200 mon. You're also invited to attend the ongoing feast at the castle. Thank you kindly. I will join you. I've even advanced to level 2. Isn't that nice? We've got a few people here. Uh, Lord Udea, I think that is. Uh, my name is Tom Fox, at your service, sir. I'm Lord Udea, vassal of the Yojo clan and lord of the Ashigara castle. Perhaps you are not of gentle birth, but even a commoner, be of sufficient valour, may make something of himself one day. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, Lady Masako? Uh, you must be Tom Fox, I have the honour of watching you distinguish yourself in the recent tournament. I could flirt here, I could say, hey, i got a bit of a thing for you, but uh, I think it's a bit early game to be starting with that, so um probably won't sort of say I'm an ardent admirer just yet. I mean, you've, you've only got a brother, so as long as I can win you both over, I might be able to marry in, but uh, not for now. I'll see you in a bit. And, of course, Great Lord Hojo. Do I know you? My name is Tom Fox, I'm at your service, sir. Just won the tournament. Great Lord Hojo, ruler of Hojo clan, and Lord of Odwara, and Sakase. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, my great lord. I want to join your army, I hope that's okay. You may be of common birth, but I know I'm always looking for good men to fight for me, if they can prove themselves to be worthy of my trust. Well, I quite like to think I would be worthy, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. My lord, please employ me in your army as a samurai retainer. I would be greatly honoured. I have room in my household for a man like yourself, Tom Fox. I can take you on as a Hojo G Samurai, with a stipend of 120 mon per week, and food of course. Plenty of room for promotion and you'll be equipped as befits your rank. You'll have your take of whatever you can scavenge from the battle too. What do you say? Well, I have to say I humbly accept my lord, thank you very much. I mean, I did kind of just whoop everyone's ass in a tournament, just so I could join a feast, just so I could say, hey, can I be part of your crew? So, uh, yeah, lots of people now love and hate me. You know how it is. Uh, yeah, that's what you got to say. Um, I'm only going to say this once, so before I leave, I might as well just say, give you the honours of my winnings. And with that, beg my leave. And check the in, check my new armour. Got my weird flag things on the back. Still no companions here. Let's have a look. Look at this new armour I got. And a I am looking good, if I do say so myself. Looking ready for war. So, uh, yeah. It's battle. Uh, if I just leave the town. See, now time passes because technically I'm not leading an army anymore. I'm part of another army. Uh, I will join back with you guys when we get to a battle or something. Okay, so. We sat in that city for quite a long time, but uh, he's finally ventured out, and we've got ourselves into a bit of a battle here. Um, I can revolt, I can desert, I can look at what the commander thinks of me, but for now, I think the obvious decision is to uh, probably follow the commander into battle. Uh, what I did off camera as well that I forgot to do is I left. Let's have a look. We have over a thousand troops versus 59. I mean, this battle is going to win regardless if I'm there or not, but it's a chance for me to prove myself on the battlefield. But yeah, like I say, um, what I did off camera that I forgot to do before I left the city was uh, I leveled up. I just upgraded my uh, agility and my athletics so I can run a bit faster. These flag things are a bit annoying. I can't really see what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably check out the next part if there's a way I can take these off because they are incredibly annoying. That's being said, um, I follow the formation, but I think he's literally just got us all charging. Which, I'm not going to complain about, we'll charge headlong into battle. 
chance for us to prove our skills. Uh, I'll probably ask when I get upgraded if I can be uh, mounted because I think I fight better. Just being charge in here. Can't even see who I'm hitting. Stupid. Really hope I kill somebody. Well, this is uh, not a glorious one-on-one -on -one battle. It's just everyone's fighting everyone at the minute. Oh, a bunch of archers here, but they are our men. So uh, let's defend these guys. Oh, hello. Take on you. You look heavily armored. Can't see with these flags. Gotcha. Oh, you're a woman. Oh, you stole my kill. Wait, no, I got it. I got it. I can read the kill feed. Glorious kill there. And just keep charging on. I don't even think I've took any damage yet. Uh, let's just take on these archers. I mean, you're heavily armored. Better than me, but... Okay. This guy's just wrecking people. Lord Harga. Oh, don't tango with you. You knock people out instantly. Oh, wow, look at that. That guy's tough. Oh. Ow, gunshots. Oh yeah, there are guns in this game, by the way. Like primitive rifles. I don't know how much I'll uh, get into that. Uh, I've got up to level 3, by the looks of things. Let's keep charging forward. Oh god, there's a few of them here. I cannot see anything. Just keep slashing, hope for the best. I think my kill just got stolen. Yeah, my kill got stolen, but... What can you do? I think we've just crushed the enemy, guys. I think we just won our first real-life battle. A bit bloodied, but uh, nothing I can't recover from. There goes the last guy. And, uh, oh, no, I don't want to retreat. Why would I retreat when we just won our first victory? Go, guys. What a way to uh, prove myself to start off this uh, new little Let's Play series. I'm quite happy with that win. Okay, so look in the reports. No casualties for me, because obviously I'm not. I'm just fighting by myself. Uh, we only took four casualties on our side, and all of the enemy were destroyed. So, quite a good victory. Got a much better helmet there. Doesn't quite match the uh, colour, but I'll take it. Oh, good. I can get rid of those. That's a lot better. Get my Watazashi back. Uh, yeah, I don't need that anymore. Uh, all this armour I've got, just because I uh, joined the army, I will lose when I leave the army, unless I desert, which I don't plan on doing. So uh, I want to keep some spare armour, just so I'll have something to wear when I uh, eventually go out on my own. So uh, I keep the helmet, everything else. I like to put my sort of all the stuff I want to keep, then food, and then anything after food is what I'll sell. Um, so, all that stuff below, what I'll just sell for a bit of extra cash next time we stop in town. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed this first part. Leave a like if you did, there might be more to come. I don't know how regular the series is going to be. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, by all means, feel free to leave a dislike. Uh, any comments for me, leave them in the comments below. I read every last one. And uh, finally, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more content. I hope you all have a wonderful day.